Hi, Clint Kuhn's here with Anderson Business Advisors, and in this session, I'm going to cover whether or not a land trust is recognized in your state. Now, I can't tell you how many times I've talked to individuals, real estate investors, who will tell me, Clint, I went and I spoke to a local attorney, or I spoke to a CPA or a banker, and they told me that land trusts are not recognized in my state. Therefore, I cannot use this beneficial tool when it comes to creating my asset protection structure. Well, most of this information is just flat out wrong. And the reason is, is that the individuals or professionals with whom you're speaking with, they're not familiar with the land trust. They don't understand how it's set up and how it works. And they frankly haven't spent the time to research the trust to get a feel for whether or not it is recognized under that particular state's law. Because what we have with land trust is a handful of states that have actually created statutes recognizing the trust. So it's been codified into law so a, an attorney can look it up in the state statute. They can see what the provisions are regarding the land trust, how it works. Notably, Florida, Illinois, uh, these are states that have codified it. And if you look in the notes um, that accompany this video, I've listed those states out that uh, recognize land trust by statute. And I've also provided you additional information for all the other states. And what I mean by all the other states is that just because a state hasn't adopted it into their statute doesn't mean the trust is not recognized. And to understand the land trust, you have to understand what type of trust it is. It's a grantor trust. Now that's a key word here, grantor trust. And it's on one of my top five mistakes with land trust. So if you watch that uh, video, you'll understand what I'm referring to there why it's so important, but that's the key term you always need to use, referred to as a grantor trust. And so when you look at the case law in all 50 states, which is based upon uh, matters where a trust has been adjudicated within the court of law, they have been recognized. Now, to the extent in which they're, they're recognized depends on the particular case, but the fact of the matter is they do work in all 50 states. And so when you're referring to someone, you're talking to them about the trust, you have to expect that you're gonna get pushback because it's not something they're accustomed to working with. I often joke around in my events where people have told me, well, I went into an attorney and he said, hey, this trust doesn't recognize here. Land trusts do not work, let's say, in Texas. I said, well, you framed the question wrong. Next time you walk into that same attorney's office, ask him, if I gave you $10,000, could you figure out for me how to make a land trust work in this state? I guarantee you, you're going to get a different answer than if you just walked up to the attorney and said, hey, can you tell me whether or not land trusts are recognized? The safest answer they can always give you is no, they're not. Because if they're not up on it, they got to be down on it because they don't want to create any liability for themselves because they just don't know. And so this is what you're facing when it comes down to whether or not your trust is going to be recognized by the state where you intend to use it. Not only is that a, uh, a problem for some individuals working with people don't understand it, but keep in mind a trust is basically a contract. All right. And so from the standpoint of contracts, you're free to choose any state's law that govern an agreement. That is, if you and I entered into a contract tomorrow, you live, for instance, in Florida, I live in Washington State, we could choose that that contract is to be governed under Nevada law. So when you set up a trust, just because you may have some special nuances in your state that if you made the trust to be interpreted under your state's law, it could create a problem for you, we work around that by having the trust interpret, interpreted under a different state's law. So then it gives validity to the actual trust agreement. So these are all things that we, we, we focus on when we're putting together land trust. But you know, first and foremost, what I want you to realize is that land trusts do offer, are valid in all 50 states. And you have to understand that they are grantor trusts. And if you approach it from that standpoint and you refer to them as grantor trusts, you're going to get a different reception when it comes to working with local professionals. So be sure to read the notes, check out those states that they're recognized by statute, and then look at those other states as well because I've given you ample information there to go off of. My name is Clint Coons with Anderson Business Advisors.